In this video, I will show you how to reduce star size so that your nebula pops out and you get an undistracted image. Well, to do this, go to Tools and Selection Tools and go to By Color Select. Now, look at the left hand side here. You want to make sure your threshold is no more than you know, 40, 50, it really depends on your image, but I usually don't go beyond 40 or 50. Uh, after you've selected that, uh, zoom in to where stars are and click on your star. There you go, it has selected uh, and identified the star. Now, as you can see, this is, uh, it hasn't really selected the whole star yet. It's selected a part of it. So we need to make this selection grow. And to do that, go to select, um, grow. Let's try three pixels. Uh -huh, nice. That, that looks like it is selecting most of the stars. Um, let's have a look. Yep, no, that's good. Well, next we will do some feathering. Feathering can be very helpful in giving us even uh, shapes. So go to feather and I will choose five pixel. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that, that, that's about right. Now let's zoom out to see how does this look. There we go. We, we've got a problem here. As you can see, the nebula bit is selected by this as well. Now, we don't want that. And to uh, deselect it, you want to go here to this tool, free select tool, and press control button and just go around it. Done. See, it's deselected now. Uh, go back to using your selection tool. Um, I think that's that's the only issue. Uh, I'm happy with the rest of the image. Let's zoom out now. Uh, now we'll perform actual star reduction. And to do that, go to filters, distorts, value propagate. We'll choose more white to more black. And now I'm going to show you how it looks. It makes a huge difference. Go to select, choose none. Let me show you before and after. So this is before. You can see that the image is very busy. There's so much going on to this, where the nebula pops out and the, the image is so beautiful. That's amazing, isn't it? Let me show you the split view. Also, there you go. That's how you perform a star reduction. In the next video, we will do some noise reduction. If you have not subscribed already, please subscribe so that you will be notified once that video is out.